For both tourists and Romans, Rascioli is a culinary institution, and like many Italian restaurants, it's a family business that boasts decades of traditions. There are a lot of places in Italy like Rascioli, where you can find uh, still the uh, member of the family that are still working with passion without opening uh, you know, tons of restaurants. On the menu are dishes that are internationally renowned, but made from more than just a recipe. Every one of us has a memory of Sunday lunch with Nona, who has cooked roast chicken or homemade pasta. The kitchen is very connected to our way of being. It's this connection, craftsmanship and knowledge at the heart of Italy's bid to have its cooking recognised in UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage. La cucina italiana, candidata UNESCO a Patrimonio Mondiale dell'Umanità. Professor Pierluigi Petrillo of Rome's Lewis University wrote the candidacy dossier. Intangible cultural heritage are tradition, practice, rituals that are transmitted by generation to generation and then create a sense of identity for the people that practice the element. The bid is a joint proposal from the Ministries of Culture and Agriculture and also underlines the sustainability and biodiversity of Italian cuisine. From the vinegar to the oil to the uh, tomatoes, we have kind of ingredients that are, uh, I think, special and uh, is our environment that allow us to do this kind of kitchen. The campaign is about the protection of Italian food traditions rather than promotion. This is not the first time Italy has sought to have its culinary culture recognised by UNESCO. In 2017, the art of pizza making in the southern city of Naples was granted world heritage status. Because after the inscription of the heart of Neapolitan's pizzaioli in the UNESCO list, uh, was changed the life of pizzaioli in, Na in Naples and around the world. UNESCO will now evaluate the Italian government's latest proposal and decide by December 2025.